guys welcome to a new video this particular video is going to be a reference to my earlier video where i have waxed my face so today i'm going to use this particular device on my face it's a device from sprint philips and uh, i have mentioned about this in my earlier video that it is an epilator with a set of tweezers small tweezers here so what they do is they grab onto your hairs and they start plucking all the hairs so today i'm going to show you what exactly it does and how much hair it can pluck when you on the epilator you have a pulsating light over here and it's for slow motion so this particular epilator before i begin epilating my face i'm going to begin with the journey of facial hair i had facial hair at a very young age at the time of 14 i think so when i started my teen years i had epilate i i had facial hair so to deal with facial hair i tried hot wax hot wax didn't work and uh, each time I visited the parlor, the parlor lady would say, you're too young, you don't focus on these things. As time went by, I started uh, using depilatory creams on my face. Depilatory, what depilatory creams do is they just get rid of the hairs from the surface. They don't destroy your hair follicles and they don't destroy the roots. So what you are doing to your face is just what you're doing to the hairs is you're just removing it from the surface there was this one time we were going shopping and i entered one store this store sells all sort of electronic appliances small electronic gadgets not other electronic gadgets i happened to see an epilator box and it showed on the diagram how the tweezers grab onto the hairs and it plucks the hair so like I need this this is like the necessity and I made the purchase at the time it was way costly I took the epilator home and when you're growing you should understand this your skin is adapting to a lot of things and your skin is super sensitive I took the epilator and I just stuck it on my face, put it on and those epilators were corded epilators, they were no, not cordless like this one. I just stuck it on my face and it started plucking the hair so aggressively. I just took, switched off the epilator and just dumped it in the corner and I'm like I will never epilate my face again. I spent a lot on an epilator and I wasn't ready to go get it go to waste so it's like i'm going to give it another try second try third try no nothing happened i left the epilation my panasonic epilator died on me without usage it was very sad as time went by i continued with depilatory creams again it made things worse i was growing even thicker hairs on my face so later on at a much later stage i went on again to an i went to the parlor and i said i need to you know thread my face and people at the parlor are judgmental and annoying sometimes they were signaling each other not to you know proceed with the threading you're wasting your time we have other other clients where you we can get better revenue or income from why are you wasting your time on threading the face of that girl you think i didn't observe that i observed that so i left the parlor never to return to thread my face and i stopped even threading my eyebrows in that parlor i i do my eyebrows at home i've shown this in one of the videos i take the wheat waxing strips cut it in small and i tweeze my eyebrows and then take the tweezer to remove the rest of my eyebrows later on i went on a, i went back to the epilators i went and purchased a philips corded epilator and i started epilating my face i used that particular epilator uh consequently three years 
it died on me with thorough usage that I made out of the repulator. It died on me, you know, I made use of the repulator and it died on me, not like the earlier one, the Panasonic one. I didn't make use and it just died on me. So once the Philips repulator was done, I decided to go for a wet and dry repulator, which was brown is highly rated as a good appellator they make good brand it's a good brand appellator and this was my silk appeal 7 appellator you can use it in your shower or you can use it dry so it has this waterproof technology and um, i've been using this for quite a while the only problem is my charger charger stopped working and I thought the appellator was not working, so I replaced it with the Philips one. To tell you the truth, in comparison to these two appellators, I go back to this appellator always. The problem with this appellator is, you see the surface of this appellator, it sticks to my skin properly and the plucking process is better in comparison to this appellator. This, if you take this head off, it is like this it's like a curve so i have to literally press down the tweezers to my face like this shove it literally to my face and get the appellation done so that's the whole story with the journey of facial hair and my relationship with the appellators so i'm just going to show you how this works Funny part about having facial hair is nobody gives you a proper solution. Just go and get a laser treatment. Laser treatment is okay and it is said to be permanent. Although some people have reviewed that laser treatment is not always safe and plus the results are not always effective. So a number of seat, a number of sittings, a number of expense. So I don't see the point of spending a lot to a particular treatment which is not going to give you effective and long-term results you're going to spend that much and you're going to go again and again to that treatment that particular treatment and you're not going to have results i don't see the point of really calling it a permanent hair removal i have never done a laser treatment and i don't wish to do a laser treatment because i am kind of skeptical and afraid of laser treatment because i have read and even seen some reviews where you can get um, the side effects or allergies or some mishaps on your face and I don't want to lose my face only because you know whatever this may be not a beautiful face but it is something to me so I don't want to destroy it nobody tells you about hard wax or anything I was not told about hard wax. I was not told about epilator. I had to learn this all by myself. So this is how I'm sharing my particular experience with facial hair, with being a hairy self and how I take care of myself, by myself. If you could literally see the whole hair that has been captured by this device. Just take this off. Can you see the hairs? It's like a lot of hair. But I'm going to use my brown silk appeal 7 and show you in comparison.
I don't know if you can see the hairs that are trapped in here. It comes with a tiny brush to clean by the way. Both the epileaters come with a tiny brush to clean whatever excessive hair that is remaining. The only difference I like this epilator better but the only difference why the main point why I use this epilator is the head is much wider over here only con I have to press it like this I use epilators only when you know I'm in a hurry and I want to get rid of the hairs and I don't want to go through the hassle of heating my hard wax and applying the hard wax pulling this is convenient it is all charged you just put it on your face get rid of the facial hairs and you're done and uh, hard wax I prefer hard wax but for that I need to prep and I need some time like whole prepping time and through the process I need some time to literally get in that hard wax process but I prefer it is much cleaner After I'm done epilating, what I do is I use a face mask. I have a clay face mask. I have shown you in my get ready with me for the new years. That particular clay mask is a pore tightening clay mask. I use that clay mask on my face. And once I'm done with the clay mask, I use a face sheet mask which is soaked in serum a collagen serum or any brightening serum i don't know but mostly i go for collagen serums they work best after all the pulling that is done on my face i need to maintain the elasticity of my face that is how i use collagen based sheet serums another thing that i would love to address here is that you know facial hair can be either hereditary or it could be due to other conditions like PCOS and PCOD in case you don't know what PCOS or PCOD is I would request you to read on what PCOS and PCOD is because people who are ignorant tend to you know make fun of such a situation of such a condition PCOS can happen if you are stressed, PCOS can happen with bad eating habits. Not every one of us have control of what we eat, although we have to maintain a certain diet. But uh, I am addressing this particular thing because I have gone through the phase where people have made fun, people have put me in a place where you know I don't belong to this particular sex or I don't belong to this sex I belong somewhere in between that is not the case it is something of a medical condition if you don't know what PCOS or PCOD is leave me aside don't make fun of such people because it is not good they are as it is stressed and as it is depressed because of this particular situation 
particular situation or condition so this is one small little thing that I wanted to address about PCOS and PCOD I would request that you people read what PCOS and PCOD is before passing a judgment on a person that is going through all this Okay, so once I have epilated my face or waxed my face, this is how I treat my skin. And the face mask or clay mask that I'm using is a pore tightening face mask. So it's going to cool down all the pores that have opened in the process of plucking all those hairs. And um, it's going to give me a smoother skin. So I didn't want to exit this video like this, but I needed to give a side note to y'all. Whenever you have conditions like these that hit your insecurities, don't let outside factors get to you. Know yourself better, learn, learn to appreciate yourself because no opposite person or no second or third person is going to appreciate you. You need to appreciate yourself. You need to love yourself. You need to know what is good for you, what is bad for you and how things work for you. And your struggles are all that matter in this life work hard do things that serve you best believe me you will find good results i'm not saying that i have found really great results by doing all this but you know i have learned to appreciate myself every morning i have learned to tell myself that i love myself that i will do all that i can to serve myself better because no person will come and save you in your mental breakdown with your insecurities so you know every woman i it is not just pcos and pcod that causes facial hair i think majority of the women have facial hair upper lip hair at least chin area hair people also choose shaving it is your choice you can do whatever you like you don't have to be answerable to anyone but this is what i do and i felt like i should share this with you people so if you like this video please give a thumbs up and if you have anything to say about this video comment below your experience with hair removal whatnot you can comment below and don't fail to subscribe hit that notification bell your support would mean a lot thank you so much bye